three, two, one, go. Autonomous mode for our last match before lunch. Robot scoring without any outside control. Lots of programming and sensors involved in this section of the game. Head to head as we move into teleoperated mode. Slight advantage to the Blue Alliance. Lots of blue cargo being delivered into the upper hub by Team Rice and their partners. Royals having some issues here on the tarmac. Hopefully they'll sort them out by the end of the match while Team Rice once again scores using their swerve drive, harvesting more cargo off the tarmac floor. Moving to the lower hub, there go the Inferno Botics for the blue, picking up two more cargo into that lower hub. Just under one and a half minutes left to play. Lots of blue cargo being scored. Blue Alliance looking to get up to that 20 ball minimum to pick up, excuse me, 20 cargo minimum to pick up the additional ranking point. Heavy impact on the far side of the field by the Royals. Just over one minute left to play. Infernobotics again scoring on the far side for the red. Ward Melville, Iron Patriots for the blue on the far side, looking to deliver to that lower goal. And no, going for the upper goal and getting it in. Great score by the Iron Patriots. Robocats here on the left side of the lower hub, dropping in two more cargo for the red. Team Rice lining up, softly delivering cargo into that upper hub. Over in the blue hangar, action is picking up. Ward Melville hanging on that mid bar, while in the red hangar, it's getting crowded. Up go the Robocats on the far side of the hangar, partnered with Infernobotics on the lower bar and the Cybercats in the middle. Three hanging robots for the red. Under five seconds left. Final score coming up next. On the board in favor of the blue, 72 to 57. Blue Alliance picking up three ranking points, two for the win and one additional for scoring more than 20 cargo during the match.